love each other and have a good time. Yeah. Um, I hope that y'all are protecting yourself, being safe out there. Yeah. Um, have a protocol for your home. Um, Absolutely. And stick to it. No matter what, stick to it. Um, there's a lot going on. So Friday night, we'll, we'll cover some more ground on carnivores. And uh, hopefully we can get into some end time uh, teaching there. Find out where we should be at today um, as we begin to preach the gospel That's of right. the good news of mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm, I really wanted to finish up a little bit from last week. And we are on our journey of understanding uh, the spirit of fear. And um, I'm going to do just a little review. Okay. And uh, me and teacher, we kind of flow today. We're just going to kind of flow. She's just going to look cute. She's going to kind of flow today. It's not hard to do. It's kind of like what I do. So, uh, <laughs> okay. As well as being a Christian, that's like what I do. So, that's not hard. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love the chemistry we have, y'all. It's fun. <laughs> if you're married, you should be having fun with each other. More excitable one. The more we frame and more refined and more structured and kind of a little anal one. Uh, however, uh, we make a great couple. I mean, can you just see the robot? <laughs> can y'all just see it right now? I mean, she just look, she just looks so, you know, like a little claymation. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's come for my makeup. You're trying to come? No, I'm not coming for oh, the okay, makeup. Okay. It's all right. All right it's all, right, all right. good. Okay. I know they probably say, okay. get to the word. Y'all know me. This get to the is word. the word. We're gonna get to the this word. This is marriage ministry. That's right. Keep that in mind. That's right. My goodness, and I couldn't stay six feet away from her. Mm. Yeah. All right. Break we, that protocol. All right. Now. Yeah. We go. We going together. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, I just want to welcome all 144 viewers by <laughs> faith. Speak <laughs> those things that and, are not uh, as if they were. Yeah. Just want to welcome all y'all. Uh, to WM Ministries uh, live feed, yes. and um, we're going to just touch on a few things. Uh, I'm going to have the minister touch real quick. We're about to get in it now. We're going to do a little reiterating, a little just a little bit review, okay. and I want him to read Second uh, Timothy. Uh, we're going to start Second Timothy chapter one, and we're going to do verse six and seven in context of this verse. Timothy is being encouraged uh, not to be fearful of using his gifts. Amen. Mm. So we're going to have that reading right there, just to get us in it. Amen. All righty. 2 Timothy chapter 1, beginning at verse 6. That is why I would remind you to stir up, rekindle the embers of, fan the flame of, and keep burning the gracious gift of God, the inner fire that is in you by means of, of the laying on of my hands with those of the elders at your ordination. Mm -hmm. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, of cowardice, of craving and cringing and fawning fear, but he has given us a spirit of power Mm. and of love and of calm and well-balanced mind and discipline and self-control. My goodness, what a way to live. Balanced life. That's yeah. this is what I, I strongly hear. Uh, self-control, uh, soundness in mind, no void of chaos. Amen. Um, I just really, when I, I think about what's probably going on with Timothy or why he was told, basically being prepared not to be in a, in a state of chaos is because of what was going to befall him or what he was going to experience. So uh, God is preparing us as always, to be ready for every situation and every circumstance. We as Christians should always be ready. Amen. That is so good. And I just want to continue to reiterate that God has not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but he has given us. Listen to this. He has given us the spirit, listen, of what? Power. Yes. Of love. Mm Mm-hmm. And of a sound mind. Good. Well, where we left off at, mm-hmm. what that God has given us a spirit. He's given us a spirit of, listen, of power. Mm-hmm. He's given us a spirit mm-hmm. of love. And he has given us a spirit of a sound 
fortified mind. Absolutely. It takes those three elements, listen, to defeat and conquer fear. Mm -hmm. Not that God can't do it, but that's what he's given us because we have a part in this. We have a part in this and fighting this thing called fear, this spirit. Amen? And they're all encompassed in God's gracing. So we've been graced with that power, love, and sound mind when it comes to fear. It is a gracing and a gracing. We'll talk a little later about uh, gracing because this uh, is a power that you have the ability through the spirit of the truth of the word of God. It transformed your mind mm -hmm. to the mind of Christ, which enabled you to be empowered. Amen. So, and I love that, empowered. And he has given us that power. We have the ability and we have the power and have the might, but you have to understand um, the things of the spirit realm. And one of the ways that we have, you, you have to have the, the power of the revelation uh, of the spirit. Uh, because you have got to have the reality of that. If the revelation of the power, the love, and the sound mind is not a reality to you, then you can't live it out. Then it cannot graft into you. It's not your reality. Fear would be your reality. Doom would be your reality. Dread would be your reality. But he's telling you that I've given you the spirit. Absolutely. And he is the, he is the God of spirits. So I just think that before you go on, you got to have that revelation of all three of those. Mm -hmm. Remember, um, if you don't have the revelation, you know, if you don't have the revelation of the spirit, it's not it is not upon you. Then you can't do anything. You, you can read and study all you want, but you won't be empowered. You, and you have to believe. My goodness, this is some good mm -hmm. stuff right here. Just a little quick review. And I told you last week that death is a spirit. Um, uh, before it was a physical death, there has to be a proposition made to that person that's in that bed. You know, because if God has not said this is your time, ultimately, exactly. you can listen. You can rebuke death. Amen. So I uh, gave you all the example last week. As far as I know, my aunt is still healthy, still alive, still doing great. Right. And um, all it took was to, uh, some words to change her reality. Mm -hmm. To change her reality. Words are so powerful. Um, they're, Jesus said, or God said, my words are spirit and life. They're truth. That's right. And mm -hmm. everything that he says. So you got to remember when God speaks, he's a speaking spirit. So, as I told you, uh, when he puts the blessing upon you, then that's the spirit of blessing. Amen. So, you have the spirit of blessing. Anything that's, that comes from God and given to you by God is a spirit. Y'all got that? There is a spirit of blessing. There's a spirit of mm. giving. There's a spirit of caring. There's a spirit of kindness. There's a spirit. He is the spirit of spirits. Amen. Amen. So it's just a, it, this kind of teaching will change your reality about who God really is and how you receive. A spirit is given uh, to be received. Every spirit is given and every spirit is received. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Teacher, you want to add anything else on there as we do this little quick review? Uh, we can keep going to actually really go ahead and get to the... Okay, the just meat. a little more review here. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure. Yeah. And I, I had a thing over here last week and I said, how... How um, does God deal uh, with fear? Um, how, does God, how does God deal with fear? Look how dangerous fear is, as I told you, that he had to give you the spirit of power. He had to give you the spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind. Y'all need all three. Mm -hmm. All three have to be a reality. Not two mm -hmm. of the three, not one of the three, but all three have to be a reality mm -hmm. to you for them to actually work. Oh, oh man, how dangerous yeah. is that spirit of fear? Man, let's look at this here. Gave you another one. Gave you another one here. Uh, let's see here. Um, there's a... Number three. There is a relationship between the love of God, right? Mm -hmm. There is a relationship of the love of God. You have to have the relationship or the revelation of the love of God. 
You really do. That is the reality of your faith. Uh, love toward man. See, with God, a lot of times Christians, they like to do this. I, I love you, right? but there's a problem with God. Or mm -hmm. I love God. Yeah. That's the one they really say. But I find it difficult I, loving you. I find it difficult to love you. But mm -hmm. true love, God love, the revelation of love is that it love, God's love is between God and Amen. man. Come on, y'all. Mm. Between God and man. That's right. That's a revelation in itself. And you should still be experiencing this even in this, this lockdown, uh, semi-lockdown, COVID-19. You should still be strongly experiencing the love of God in the love with men. You sh there should be still a great bonding that you sense and feel mm -hmm. between God, between yourself, God, and man. Uh, it shouldn't be this distance because we're not physically in the place that we gather because the place that we gather is in our inner man, is in our heart. Right. And so w there should still be a very intensifying love and passion for God. Matter of fact, it should be even more so because you're isolated from those that normally is a distraction. And when you go out to work and other places you normally go, this should be the most prime time for your relationship with God to grow immensely because you are isolated. This should be seen as a time of just really, you're on a fast. This should be so a type of a fast to where you, God has isolated for the very purpose to get your total full attention. Amen. That is excellent right there. I think he got my attention. I think he has yours too and a few other people in this time. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, this is a, a little something I added uh, since last week about fear. Remember, fear, since it's a spirit, it means it can know people. Yes. All right? And it can know people, listen, who it can't try again. Absolutely. No, fear is a personality. Mm. Fear is a spirit mm. without a body mm. that needs a body mm. to have an expression mm. of its faculties. So you got to think about it. A, yeah. a demon is really trying to express himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is trying to manifest. That is mm -hmm. what a spirit does. A spirit, a spirit doesn't yeah. do anything. It doesn't yeah. mean anything unless it has a body to express itself. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love it. And that. it does that through situation, circumstance, and people. For right. instance, the the COVID nineteen, and also it's definitely <laughs> done through. The ones that we're closest to. Mm -hmm. it, fear needs a acceptance. That's right. Fear needs a response of agreement. Fear needs a receiving of the spirit. And it's done through your emotions. Amen. And a spirit can talk and it can know. A spirit can talk and it can know. See, this is something that we really have mm -hmm. to get uh, when it comes to the body yeah. of Christ, where we are right now mm -hmm. and dealing with spiritual things. You can deal with this mm -hmm. situation in the natural yeah. if you want. Oh, Jesus. You just, I just heard something. You, okay. Well, you, oh, you, my know, God. you can deal with this situation uh, in the natural if you want, but oh, it's not. My God. It, it is a spiritual aspect. Mm -hmm. See, this is how man, because man doesn't realize that he is a spirit. spirit. Yes. See, so... That, that has a body, that possesses a body. Yes. Right? And has what? Mm. A mind. A soul. But a man is a spirit. Mm. And this body is a container. So you really mm. got to understand. So you can deal with this Jesus. situation in a carnal, uh, carnal way or in your carnality. But you have to remember man mm. is a spirit. He's not trying to kill your body. Your body going to die, whether yes. coronavirus or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. But man is a spirit. What is the state of the man when he takes his last breath? Yeah. That's the true man, the, the inner man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, teacher, you said you wanted to add on something because I want to go somewhere in the scripture here. Yeah, I'm, I, I, yes, I... I'm sorry. This is where I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. <laughs> I said when I hear it, it's like the download comes real quick. And if I don't get it out, it's, you know, trying to run and catch what, what God just said. Amen. But when he says, I haven't given you the spirit of fear. So 
and but he has given us peace. Peace is our balancer. Right. And so how we know when the spirit of fear is present is because my peace that which is given me, which is my comforter. So when I don't sense my comforter, my peace is being disturbed, which means that there is another spirit that's present. See, we can't go on with our life responding in certain ways and we're not realizing fear itself is not just a dread, but fear comes in many forms. And when you're not at peace, that means that the comforter is not in a state of being to where he is manifesting his spirit of peace. Which means that now I, this is the thing that caused me to discipline my thoughts because I know that peace, my peace is not with me. And so this sends off an alarm that I need to regulate now immediately my emotions because my peace has just been invaded. Oh, see, I just felt something right there. I'm just trying to tell you right now. This thing is real deep. This fear. Go ahead, really I mean, I could just do some things in the spirit, but <laughs> who's really ready for it? Who's really ready for Holy Spirit? Who's really ready for Holy Spirit? <laughs> Go ahead, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> Keep the hands still, dude. All right. Oh, okay. Jesus. So, so here we go. Mm. Here we go. Listen, just put a disclaimer in case it fall off again. We're going to reconnect, okay? In case that things fall off again, we're going to reconnect. All right, here we go. So, teacher, I love what you said right now, what you just said. So, remember what I said. Mm. Peace is a spirit. And it can know you. You said fear is a spirit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Fear is a spirit. Mm -hmm. And it means that it knows people. And it knows people who it can't try again. Okay? So, go with me to Luke. Mm. 4. 33 and 34. Amplified. I may switch up a couple of versions on you, so be ready. Feel so restricted, but go ahead, go to the book. <coughs> Jesus, right. the Holy Scripture. That's why you have to do the pad, maybe. Mm. All right, Luke 4, 33 and 34. And it so reads Now in the synagogue, there was a man who was possessed by the foul spirit of a demon. Yeah. And he cried out with a loud, deep, terrible cry. Mm. Ah, let us alone. What have you to do with us? What have we in common, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Ah, goodness. Mm. Now, this spirit was knowledgeable. Mm. Listen to this. This mm. spirit was knowledgeable of Jesus. No, no, no. They're intelligent. Mm. Okay? This spirit had knowledge of Jesus. Listen, the word. Yeah. It had the word of God. And it knew its purpose. And it knew its destiny. It knew its end. Yeah. See, see, you're going to deal with the enemy in a different realm when you have understanding now. So when the demon comes to you, see, you should have an understanding of who he is because he has an understanding of who you are, which is very, very important. So watch this. Mm. They're not ignorant. That means when fear comes to you, it observes your response. Yeah. When fear comes to you, it, reserve, it, it observes your response. And when it sees there's a deficiency. Go ahead. In, on, of the power of God. Yeah. On your words. What you do then, and when he sees that there's no enlightenment yeah. of your mind. Mm. It is permitted now, legally, to come in and destroy you. Listen, that, mm. that's just how... It happens so frequently, mm -hmm. so, I mean, all the time. I just gave y'all something right there. When fear comes into you, listen, it observes your response, people. Go ahead. It observes your expression of your faculties. 
Mm. And it studies you and your movements and your response, your heart rate, your breathing. It studies you. It observes you. So cunning. And what you do when you respond the way that he needs you to respond, you allow entrance now. Listen, the man was in church. He was in the synagogue. Yeah. He was in where the word is being delivered. Yet he sat there, listen, bound by spirit. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Teacher, I need you. I need us to understand something right here. When the enemy observes you, this is why it's so awesome and so awesome about the word of God. Because when you have self-control. See, this is why self-control is so everything spiritual. Don't let nobody tell you everything ain't spiritual. Everything is spiritual. That's a deception and a spirit speaking right then. Telling you everything ain't spiritual. Everything was created mm. out of the unseen. Everything is spiritual. Amen. Everything. See, it's your spiritual perception and what allows you. It's your understanding which mutes. Mm. You seeing in the spirit and hearing in the spirit. Because everything God does, if you're believers, everything he does is spiritual. That's right. My whole interaction with him is spiritual. I just need this body to interact. Listen, listen, in this dispensation. Yes. In time, in the physical. But everything is spiritual. Can I get us to really grasp a hold of that? No, everything I do, if you look at how you're supposed to respond in your character. Those are the characteristics of Christ. Mm. Which means that everything he did is Christ like, it's spiritual, it's God. I only do what I see my Father in heaven do. I only interact with you the way my Father Absolutely. would interact with you. Keep that in mind. Uh, I love what Woo! some a uh, couple of key words that Pastor said here was that how the enemy of the spirit of fear, how it works and how it observes you, is this is that it's looking for. A believer that has a defect. Oh my Lord Jesus. Mm. That's oh, right. Jesus, it it's just a word that I need to hear from God. I, see that word defect. Mm -hmm. The enemy is looking for a Christian with a defect. A deficiency. But the word of God says, this is why he says, I've given you mm. power. I haven't given you the spirit of fear. I haven't given you the spirit that would say you're nobody. That, no, that would turn everything towards you in a negative way and how you perceive and see yourself right. because I made you over. And when I made you over, I made you in my image. Perfect. That's right. But he's looking for that defect and that defect is in the faculty. Mm -hmm. This is why God says I've given you a sound mind. That's right. But all of this is in case is in case all three uh, this gracing that is encasing your salvation that you must take hold of. That's right. So it's that sound mind that we're, if you don't have that sound mind, see, it's your faculties that's weak. It's a defect in your faculty. Your faculties. So that is a way for him to get in. Amen. Your way of thinking, Amen. your way of reasoning Amen. is deficient. I often tell a lot of people I talk to, is that stop thinking there's something wrong with you. That is the entrance. Yes. He said, I just need to be, look, improved. I need to grow. I need to develop more in the image of Christ. Mm. Because this is how the enemy enter <laughs> in. It's how we see ourselves. Oh, that's really this is this fear. It's how we see ourselves through the eyes of other people, through society. But this is the great deception. That you have a flaw. But this is why God said um, he put you back in the hand of the potter. And he oh. he will make you over. See, he has to break you. See, because there is a defect. Mm -hmm. But you have to be willing to be broken so you can be made over. Which makes you whole. And yeah, there's no, yeah. oh my God, we got some places to go. I'm going to just hold back. I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold back. So teacher, no, you got to hold back. So listen. I'm going to hold back. So, so what you said just now, so God puts us in difficult situations. Mm. Listen, so we can grow. So you can. Hold be. up. Hold up. 
Go ahead, teach. Go so ahead. you can be broken. You have to be put in the most horrific situation so you can be broken. Right. And there's nowhere else to turn except to the hands of the potter. Ah, glory to God. Jesus. She done set my things way up. Jesus, I'm sorry. Levels. Oh, glory to God. Jesus, I'm sorry. But for real, oh, God places you in there. So, so think about your life right now. Think about where we are right now. You got some people, mm. listen, that's going to go stare crazy because you can't go outside. You can't function. It'll cause you, listen, fear of being in isolation mm. will cause you to go insane. Like when they put prisoners in isolation. Mm. See, in that isolation, it, it comes from them hurting themselves or hurting other people. Uh, like this virus. Mm. So this isolation, see, people, um, th what we should be doing is growing, listen, in our patience and our tolerance. Right. And we're studying, understanding the people that I'm in-housed with. Yes. And how they function and how do we operate under stress. This is an opportunity for us and the body of Christ to grow. Amen. God places us in these situations so we can grow. And they're temporary. Mm -hmm. It's a season. And seasons are designed to mm. change. So this is why it's, it's so important oh, to us Jesus. to really understand um, oh. these these situations, teacher, that he puts yeah. us in. Yeah, yeah. See, and I'm not fighting it. Who fighting it? I'm not going to fight this mm. because there's a situation. Some of you need to be still. That's right. Some of you need to be put in this situation mm. to deal with you. Oh, my God. Because a lot of us are just too busy mm. and not really mm. dealing with the real Listen, mm. issues of your heart. Of self. And what isolation does, it allows you to be put in the position to deal with your isolation. Listen, the isolation of your heart, where you are. Y'all get that? This situation will put you where you are. You'll find out, do you really love your wife? Do you really love your children? Do you really love your spouse? Yeah. Do you really love God? It'll put you in this position to really reflect. That's right. It gives you a chance to, to think. This is why we had a Sabbath rest. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. So you can be on this Sabbath or where you get sabbatical from. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So well, Amen. I'm on a sabbatical. We're on a sabbatical. And I'm enjoying it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So we're talking about this thing about fear. We're just kind of closing it up. I just oh want to kind of bring God. it to an end. Jesus. Well, it ain't going to never be to an end, but we're going to bring it to a conclusion at this series. That's Listen. Cool. Watch this, teacher. Sometimes people might say, I had a dream. Yeah. I'm giving y'all an example. Sometimes people might say, I had a dream. Mm -hmm. And I saw you die in that dream. Go ahead. Hmm. That person might be sincere. Mm -hmm. But the spirit of fear takes that opportunity now. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to, and he wants to now start to manipulate your understanding. Oh, right. Watch this. Hold on. We... We got to see this. So a lot of times you can have dreams and, and dreams and, and vision. You can see things that are tragic. Yeah. But listen, fear is waiting at the door. Jesus. It's waiting, listen, to enter in. I don't have to receive it. It's trying to get you to receive. Mm. Spirits are given, so spirits are received. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it knows. It knows the, the damage and the Trauma that is trying to invoke in you. My Just God. by somebody say, I saw you die in a dream. Oh, can y'all hear that somebody? Mm -hmm. And what it does, it creeps in and takes that opportunity to manipulate you. That's right. Absolutely. So when you hear that <clears throat> loved one dies, when you hear that loved one dies, mm -hmm. it does something to you. It does mm -hmm. something to you. It does something to you. And what fear does, it starts to capitalize on that. That's right. It starts to make it the forefront. Meditation. It knows how to work in you. Fear does. My goodness. The problem is you don't know how it works in you. Absolutely. You don't know the gift. You don't know the spirit that's been given to you. To annihilate. To conquer death. You have the opportunity Listen, because he hasn't given us the spirit of fear, we have the, mm. now, we have the victory. We have the mm. opportunity to conquer death mm. itself. He did when he went to the mm. grave and took back the keys of, of death 
and sin. He said, where is your sting now, yeah. death? Yeah. Where is your sting? That's right. Where is it? I've taken that from you. My goodness. See, you, uh, this is just too much. This is it. So, he capitalizes on that fear. Mm. Mm. And says, who's next? Mm. Mm. When you find that loved one dies, and what he'll say is, who's next? Mm. Mm. That's what fear, that's the voice of fear. Lord. Who's next? I already got you, I already planted the seed in you, but who's next? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It'll come after your loved one. Your children, mm. your parents. Okay. Oh, it will do it. Mm. My goodness. Fear is a very dangerous spirit. But we do have the answer for it. Mm. Amen. Wow. Glory to God. Listen, and then watch this. So, mm. fear loves hospitals. Jesus, you can get me some places. We're well, going to go some places, too. Watch this. Fear loves hospitals. Mm. <laughs> it grows stronger and faster in those places. Oh my God. Fear loves hospitals. Where's everybody? Where are they putting up all the tents? Where are they putting up all the people? In hospitals. Fear mm. loves hospitals. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Go ahead, Matthew. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead. We well, I'm, just, I'm just, I had some questions before God uh, last night. And one of those was, why are Christians fearful mm -mm. of death? That's my question to God. Why are Christians fearful? Fearful of death. And we know that we all have an appointed, appointed time of death. And we know our final resting place. Why, why are we afraid of death? Why is there a fear attached to us as Christians with the word death? Mm -hmm. And... It has to be because our relationship with Christ is not what, it, what it's supposed to be in reality. And then I begin to ask, what is, what is pandemic? What, 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 what is this? What is fear? So you put all those things together and it's this outbreak that's widespread. Look. It's an global. outbreak. Fear is an outbreak. Yes. It yes. is a sudden increase of, look, of something violent is just going to happen. It's a sudden increase, outbreak. And it covers an entire geographical area so widespread. And that for us so widespread, it takes over your entire being. You are that entire area, that area that it overtakes because of that word, death. Not the sickness, but death. And you took it as a sudden outbreak of intense and increased violence that has overtaken. The pandemic is within you. It's not outside of us. We are believers. Why do we fear death? You know what? My Lord. You know why? One reason why? Because we really don't have the revelation of life. Yeah. In Jesus Christ. That's right, because that's where your life is. In Jesus Christ, absolutely. We do not have the revelation of life. Because your life now is in Christ. Matter of fact, he said it's even hidden. Jesus. It's hidden in Christ. This is the secret place of the Most High. When you see all the calamities go by or before you, it's because you're hid in Christ. 
you're, you're, you have to have the revelation. See, in order for this thing to work, yes. in order for your understanding of the word of God, you have to have mm. a revelation mm. of who God is. Yeah, yeah. See, this is why the demons flee. This is why Satan knows, because they do have the revelation of God. Why are you here? See, with the revelation of God, it gives you knowledge. It gives you unknown knowledge. This is why they said, Jesus, why are you here before your time? They know. They know. They know. You just don't know. Mm. You have to have the revelation of Jesus. That your life now is hidden. That's right. Now, when you choose the wrong way and now death comes upon you, you have chosen that. This is why he's not guilty. This is why he's not worried. Because he told he he has already laid it down the example for you and every and your family. So when these calamities, these pestilence, these things come upon you, you find out where you are. Mm. You find out where you are, and the body of Christ has found out where they are. That's right. That's all. You found out where you are. You have to have a revelation. Not know of. See, because you have to be, uh-oh, yeah. in Christ. That's right. You have to be in him. And he has mm. to be in you. Don't That's you right. know he knows? Okay. I'm going to help us out here today. Fear. Fear can take an mm. innocent communication about, oh, the rapture. That's right. And, and destroy believers and make them irresponsible My Lord. with the word of God. Mm. With the great hapazo, with the great taking away. He can come in now and distort that. Now you can live any way you want to live. That's right. Now I'm once saved, always saved. <laughs> now, now all I got to do at the last minute. I can live like I want on the earth. I, at the last minute, I can I can say, okay, Lord, I got okay. you. I'm going to let you in now. <laughs> the door has been shut, and you don't know it. You're just like Samson. Your anointing left, your power has left, and you don't even know that it left. Okay, here we go. They like, change from there, Pastor. Change from there. <laughs> hope, I mean, hope nobody don't drop off on that one. <laughs> Listen to this. The spirit of fear has destroyed... And has stopped a lot of people from receiving and from rising up and producing I a know. lot of things. Exactly. A lot of us going to go to the grave mm. with books and playwrights and inventions yes. and, you know, designs and all kind of things. We're going to go to the grave. Listen, they're going to still be with us. And because you had fear of failure. I'm going to show you all what success is, too. We had fear of failure. Mm, mm. He kept you stagnant. He kept you, listen, mm. idle. That's right. From producing the things of God that God placed inside of you. Watch this one. One of the side effects of fear is that it makes you forget the goodness My Lord. and the benefits of God. Fear does. I'm going to say that one more time. My goodness. Fear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw somebody put a fear cause you to fail. It does. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it calls you not to try again. Mm. The just man falls exactly. seven times. Yet he gets up. Fear. Well, maybe this is how my life's supposed to be. That's a lie. Mm. God already told you how your life. He said, I am the author and the, the finisher finish. of your faith. Get yes. up. Yes. Oh my goodness. See, it, when it comes, mm. see, this is what the problem is. When it comes to the word being engrafted in us. My Lord. See, what separates us from the love of God is a mm. feeling. Ultimately, it is a feeling that separates man from God. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I can't put it any simpler. Devil ain't make no one do anything except you choose. You only can yeah. choose because you're presented. That's right. I told you at death, there's a proposition being made. Mm. You can die right now. Mm. Or 
If God hadn't said it is my time to die, then this is just a mild affliction. Yeah, a mild affliction. It's my perception of my God. Jesus. Father, I got work to do. I have yeah. things inside of me that yes. have not yet come to pass. You have yes. promised me these things. I will see my family say, That's you what? can't take me now. See, that must be mm. a proposition. Somebody is, is giving me a proposition to choose now. Mm. To choose to go on. Paul said, it's mm -hmm. more expedient. I stay here. He wanted to go, but I need to stay here. That's right, because I hadn't heard the word yet. I don't need you to go yet. Your, your part hadn't been finished yet, Paul. Peter, you yeah. can't die because you haven't went vote first and second Peter yet. You go can't ahead. go yet. That's right. You can't go yet. Because mm. I already prayed for you. I know your end. My goodness. See, what you do is choose your end. You choose your end. If sin has overtaken you, you're overwhelmed with sin, you have chosen. You have chosen that. That's right. Because God has already made a way. He already gave you the plan of life, the plan of salvation. I've given you my son. You can repent. Mm -hmm. You can get up. But you still choose. Oh, my God. Nobody want to hear this. Mm -mm -mm. We want a we want happy, playful church. <laughs> you don't want the responsibility of choice. That's what the problem is. You don't want the responsibility of choice. God, you're gonna do it. God, I'm waiting on you. He's already done it and he's waiting on you. <laughs> Where will you leave? He did he's done it. He's done it. Everything he's done is finished. Your deliverance is finished. It's done. Now you have to do something. He told me when I went to the altar four times to be delivered from pornography. That's right. Can you say it? Mm. Can you say I am delivered from pornography? Mm. And I went to the altar four times and he said, I was like, what's wrong? What's going on? I still feel that. Listen to what I said. I still feel that. That means I still have an attachment to it. Yeah, absolutely. The process of my sanctification has not come into effect yet. Because one missing element. He said, when you came up here the first time, pastor, mm -hmm. you didn't believe. That was the only stipulation to solidify my deliverance is that I believe. Not feel. Not feel. I needed to give now the spirit, the expression of my faculties. And now resist. And now turn from it. It's still some of y'all out there playing with pornography. You know who you are. Okay. And to believe Woo! simply means is to be made known. Oh, you, oh, you in my so, scripture. Come on. To believe, because we say that we're like, I believe, but we don't because there has to be a revelation by the spirit of the truth of the word of God that you are who he has said that you are. Come on with it. It can't be just from a carnal state of understanding that I believe. It must be through the transformation of the spirit of the truth of the word of God that makes it known to your inner man that I am delivered. Oh, come on. It I must be it. made known oh. to believe. Oh, my goodness. And when it's made known to that inner man, they will have manifestation. Mm -hmm. See, that's the whole problem. I said, you must receive first. I had to receive, uh-oh, the spirit of deliverance. I needed to receive the spirit of deliverance. See, anything that God does for us, anything that he's done for us, is by his spirit. Not by power, not by might. By, by my spirit, says the Lord. So everything that he does is by the spirit of the living God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Woo, teacher, did you hear that? I did. Well, watch this. <laughs> so watch this, what happens. So when fear comes upon us, it can erode. Listen, the awareness of everything God has done in your life. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yes. how soon we forget. Yes. My goodness. I wish we had something that's go ding, 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 ding. That's the you one. did it. <laughs> I'm going to say that again, teacher. Can I say that again? Please do. When fear comes upon us, 
it can erode the awareness of everything God has done in your life. Now, I'm going to show you this in scripture. Go to Psalms. Quick, quick, quickly. Go to Psalms 103. And as he's going there, remember I got the simplicity of fear is simply. Come on, teacher. Not having the ability to come to a resolve in your thoughts. It is the lack of the ability to come to a resolve. So what you initially uh, receive as truth, and when you don't obey the word of God, this put you in a place, look, I'm not having look, the mind of Christ, which means that you can't come to a place of resolve of truth. Go ahead, minister, read the word of God. So this is Psalms 103, 1 through 5, Amplified. Psalm chapter 103, beginning at verse 1. Bless, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deepest within me, bless his holy name. Bless, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not one of all his benefits, mm. who forgives every one of all of your iniquities who heals each one of all of your diseases, mm. who redeems your life from the pit and corruption, who beautifies, dignifies, mm -hmm. and crowns you with loving kindness mm -hmm. and tender mercy, oh. who satisfies your mouth, your necessity, mm. and desire at your personal age and situation with good so that your youth is renewed like the mm. eagles, strong, overcoming, and soaring. Mm. Hold up, y'all. I said when fear comes upon you, mm. it erodes the awareness of everything God has done in your life. Mm. And I need y'all to know, when he read that, I need y'all to listen. Listen, that whole list that he did right there. Cause, listen, 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 all those things listed there. Cause fear. Yes. Did y'all hear that? See, go back to that scripture. Go back to right there. Uh, start at verse. Verse three. Verse three. Who forgives every one of all your iniquities. Mm, mm, mm. Who heals each one of all your diseases. That's gone. Mm. Who redeems your life from the pit and corruption mm. who beautifies dignifies and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy Stop. all of those things listed causes fear so i told you what happens is we forget the awareness of the goodness of god but this is where the church is right now i'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to find out where we at yeah because all of these things cause fear an entrance for a spirit mm. listen to this See, you want every, we see, we want even the ability to show, we don't even have the ability to show gratitude and bless him when fear comes on. No, no, nobody's talking about, oh God in this, thank you. I see you working. Yeah. I, I, I saw all that you've done. Mm. If, even if my life is required right now, but mm. I see you have already, I have gratitude. He said, oh, bless my soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, he, he started bless affectionately. Listen, gratefully praise the Lord. Oh, my soul, my mind mm. don't want to go there. Yeah, yeah. My mind yeah. don't want to go there. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm commending my mm. mind, my mm. soul yeah. to bless the Lord in this. This is what he's saying. Because fear has come upon Nobody want, nobody want to really deal with it. We don't know how to respond mm. in these times, in yeah. these days, yeah. in these days yet to come. That's part of, that's the real teaching that I want to get mm. to is about the days that are coming. Amen. Listen to this. When you lose the ability to be afraid of mm. evil, there is no limit to what mm. your life can be. When God grants you the grace mm. to reject fear. Now God. Oh, say that, that right say, there. Say that again, I'm going to say that again. Y'all want me to say that again? I'm going to say that again. 
When you lose the ability, mm. you can actually lose the ability to be afraid of evil. When you lose the ability to be afraid of evil, mm. there is no limit to what your life can be when God grants you mm. grace to reject fear. So evil, we're talking about Mm. What's perverse? What's wrong? When you lose the ability ah. to really reject what's corrupt, what's wrong thoughts and deeds, evil speaking. Wow, Pastor. That's the deep right there. This is how fear has its home mm. because evil is mm -hmm. welcome. That's right. What's wrong is welcome. So it's just mm -hmm. like you told the lady mm -hmm. go and sin no more. Why would he tell her to do that yeah. if it wasn't a possibility? Mm -hmm. No, sorry. I'm going to change it. If it wasn't a reality. Yeah. Because it would have to be a reality to her to go and sin no more. That he said it. Now, listen, mm -hmm. Jesus, listen, the word incarnate said go. The word, just like you read the word, the logos, it said go Ooh. and sin no more. But now you also can hear it by the spirit of God. Go and sin no more. He hadn't given the spirit up then. But yet he did because he was slain before the foundation of the world. See, that's his reality. Mm. So you really have no excuse. Because my work was done before you existed. Mm. Now he's telling you by, by the spirit, grab a hold of that reality. And you'll move forward with that reality. <laughs> and you'll be with me <clears throat> eternally with that reality. See, this is what we're missing in the whole body of Christ. We don't have the reality of who Jesus is. We don't have a revelation of Jesus, the word. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Because if you did, your reality, your perspective, mm. your cognizant thoughts would be different. You would have the very mind of God. You would have the fullness of the Godhead embodied in you. Oh, my decisions, my choices. Oh, my yearnings. Mm. Oh, my passion. Oh, it has a path and it's directed right back to the Father. Jesus said, I only do what I see my Father in heaven do. See, that's what you're supposed to be telling mm. your flesh. That's what David was saying. Now, bless the Lord, your mind, your crazy self. Forget not the benefits of what God has done for yes, us. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, these are all the elements of fear that have gotten in right now. He's healed me. Fear. When you're not here, fear is there. When you're not mm. delivered, fear is there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! When you won't allow people to love you properly, fear is there. When you won't let go of forgiveness, listen, fear is there. There's an all entrance for fear. I told you, fear has the courage to be bold enough to hold the door for all the other spirits. Okay, I'm going to show you all what's happening right now. Most people don't give. Most people <clears throat> don't give. I'm just going to say, most people don't give because of fear. Not people that definitely in ministry. They are bountifully givers. Amen. I speak <clears throat> that, declare that over your life. Listen, they, most people don't give because of fear. That there is an insufficient, insufficiency. This is, what, this is why you don't give. Because it's an insufficiency. And that they may never rise, listen, out of it. Because you also see giving as a loss. And not gain. <clears throat> Hello? Pastor, yes, I, um, it's just seen that before we can go so deep in fear, Woo! is that before fear comes on the scene or how it um, migrates, uh, and the whole thought process of humanity is that because of our peace, and I realize often when I speak about my self-control and my peace, is that when peace is not there, when peace is not there, then it's, it means that evil mm -hmm. is permissible. That's right. That's right. See, we don't realize how important it is to maintain the peace of God in your life. Because if not, sin is permissible. Which, oh, because 
if I don't maintain the peace of God, I am at a state of being of being diseased, being disturbed. So yes, I I I can't give because I'm not at peace. I'm something in me or inside of me, I'm disturbed, which means that. I, I'm, I can't make a decision to do look what is good because there is a disturbance in me which calls me not to trust God because I don't have God's peace. So this gives the permissible will of fear to come because I'm disturbed. This is why he is, when he speaks about the sound mind, this sound mind has to happen because if not, we... Give permission for evil, for wrong thoughts, for wrong thoughts. We don't think it's evil to have wrong thoughts. <laughs> it is. He speaks about this uh, disease. Disease is a disease. It's pain. We, we can't seem to go through anything painful, pain, discomfort. But I, I know why when it comes to the peace of God. Amen. Why you have to have that. Because the peace of God is the protection, is the shield from when it comes to fear. It has no look, it has no entrance, it has no invitation. It look, it has no right or authority to even present because it no, it can't present because peace is there. Amen. Peace of God keeps you in a a sound mind and I can trust God look because my mind it's sound look it's balanced I have the mind a having peace give you the have the ability to allow you to have the mind of Christ when you don't have peace you don't have the ability to permit the mind of Christ That's right my goodness excellent 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 I love that that peace of God we got a song called the peace of God my goodness. <laughs> Lord I'm just trying to get it out all right, let the peace of God. Oh, damn. I'm going to get there. Listen to this. I stay in my lane. <laughs> my goodness. Watch this teacher. Yes. So, and you kind of touched on this a little bit. So, the minute the word, listen, got out about this pandemic. Mm. The minute the word got out about this pandemic. Pandemic means that it's, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's, it's a sickness or a thing that overtakes the world globally. Okay? People started doing this. The minute they came out, guess what people started to receive? The spirit of fear. Because the that's minute, what was released. That, that's, that's right. That's what was released. That's right. So this is what, listen, it, it, it is released and spirit is, is received. So this is what the world and yeah. the body. Yeah. Watch this. The minute that it was released, people started receiving the spirit of fear. Mm hmm and now, right now, as we sit here streaming live from you, yeah. to you, listen, fear is the dominating spirit now mm. over this nation. Wow. Now, you mix that with greed, because mm. with greed comes selfishness. Yeah. That's why some people don't care. Listen, they don't care to cover up. They don't care to protect you yeah. or, or you trying to protect them. Absolutely. Watch this because that's part of it. This is part of it. Now, fear is the dominating spirit in this nation. Mm. So fear, watch this. So fear has taken, listen, a new visibility. Go ahead. Just see, before mm, it was in the shadows. It was, mm. it was just in certain pockets, in certain areas. But now it's globally. Yeah. Watch this. So in the spirit realm, you got to know the progression, how things evolve or how things happen. Remember, what happens in the spirit realm first manifests is now in the earth. That's right. But you can't see spiritually. So you think it's all here in the earth. No, he's coming. Mm. Imagine the moment he stands up. From being seated on his throne. Just mm. imagine the ripple effect. Oh, of the cosmos. That God is coming mm. to this little planet. Called mm. earth. Mm. Imagine when he stands up. What is about mm. to happen. Oh I got a scripture. That's oh. going to show y'all. What the church. How we are supposed to be here. 
Jesus. my God, in this time. Imagine the ripple going. effect that's gonna that's happening right now. See, mm. and we don't understand he's coming. Yeah. But then you don't understand his power. Mm. And you don't understand what, what happened when he came here. Okay, here we go. Oh. It is now, listen, because fear is now the dominating spirit over this nation or over this globe. There, there is now a new visibility. See, before we used to see it over in the other countries, but now right. we see it here. Mm -hmm. So fear, that's a different type of fear. You're afraid of the flu. No. But this is different. So fear now has taken a new visibility and position. Mm. Oh, it's not afraid to show itself now. My Lord. Okay. Go ahead. Teach. And if you have eyes to see, and it's not and it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, I gotta put the book down. Go ahead. Oh, we ain't, we ain't done yet. We're not going. He's not going anywhere. Fear is not going anywhere now. It's changed its position. Yeah. It is truly in the hearts of the people now. They have truly now, this country and this nation has truly received now the spirit of fear. And I told mm -hmm. you, that spirit allows all the other spirits. Mm -hmm. They wait. So now you're going to see other things and other types of fear with other calamities. You've been told today. Mm. Now all the other spirits are coming. You got to see the progression of this. Stop letting fear tell you you're a weak person. That's right. Stop letting fear tell you you're a weak person. I could call some names out right now. No need to, I think. Hmm. People know who they are. <laughs> Their state of being. God has given us. Which we don't have to stay at. God has given us. Amen. God has given us. You need to say that God has given me. God has given me. A spirit. A of power. A power. He's given me a spirit of love. Spirit of love. He has given me a spirit mm. of a sound fortified mind. Oh sound my God! Fortified, Watch man. this. God said this. To God. Go to Jeremiah. Go to the book. You can't talk about these times if you don't go to Jeremiah. Now let's go. There. You can't talk about these times you don't go to Ezekiel. Oh yeah. You can't talk about these times you don't go to Daniel. You can't talk about these times you don't go to Amos. You gotta. This is. You got to know where we are right now. And remember, everything then was a tight and shadow of things to come. We're now there. So. It's still relevant. Amen. Amen. Come Pastor. on. Jeremiah 31 and 3 amplified. You have to have a revelation of this. Jeremiah chapter 30 at verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Mm. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. Write all the words that I have spoken to you in a book. For note well, the days are coming, says the Lord, mm. when I will release from captivity my people Israel mm. and Judah, says the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, mm. and they will possess it. Mm. My God. And they will possess it. Did you go to Jeremiah 31, 3? He didn't go to Jeremiah 31, 3. But that's good too. <laughs> you ought to possess heaven. <sighs> Amen. Glory to God. Jer Jeremiah right. chapter 31 and verse 3. The there Lord appeared from of old to me, Israel, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting yes. love. Yes. Therefore, with loving kindness, mm. Have I drawn you mm. and continued my faithfulness to you? Oh, my God. Mm. See, you have to have the revelation that God loves you and, and that there is victory there. He said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. love. He said, I have loved you unashamedly. Mm. My goodness. With an everlasting love, I have drawn you. Listen, with my love and my kindness, I've drawn mm. you with that. See, but if you don't have a revelation of who he is or the word of God, see, this means nothing. Absolutely not. It's just words. 
But see, my spirit, man, hears that. And it is drawn. He says, I've loved you, Rod, with an everlasting love. Mm. And with my love and kindness. See, mm. see, that right there trumps mm. whatever my desire of my flesh is. Whatever direction, listen, that my soul wanted to go. When I hear that God has mm. loved me with an everlasting love and he has drawn me with his love and kindness, mm. I'm compelled. Mm. I'm compelled mm. to follow him. I'm compelled mm. to serve him. Yes. I'm compelled to keep his commandments. I'm compelled to fight this flesh. I'm compelled to walk in my deliverance. Man, do y'all understand that? Now, I got another one for you. And then he said, what can separate us from the love of God? Romans. Mm -hmm. Romans 8. Mm -hmm. 35 and 39. He said, I love you with an everlasting love. Everybody mm -hmm. listening, God has said, I love thee with an everlasting love. See, but if you don't have a revelation of what love is, who he is, this means nothing. Seek me out as, oh, I'm hidden treasure. Apostle Paul said, I'm your bond servant. Ah. Oh. He said, I'm, really, I'm your, your love slave. And, and when you, when he was even put in change and he was arrested, he had a spiritual perspective. Mm. And his spiritual perspective, of course, the earthly one would have been that I, I'm locked behind bars and all what I've done for God teacher. and all how I'm feeling and all this pain and all this treatment and everything I'm going through. But he remembered mm. from a spiritual perspective Come on. how he had enslaved himself to his creator. Mm. He mm. said, because you, you, you came after me. You apprehended me, Lord God. And he said, I am your slave. And back in those days, a slave would even mean to be chained to a chariot as you walk through it. And he was at one point um, at a home. He was home, had a home being arrested, uh, being at home. And so he had some type of freedom. So even still while he was homebound being arrested, he was still preaching the gospel. Amen. He said, because of the understanding and the love that I have through my salvation. He was, he, he was kept being um, reminded of the love that God has for him, not had for him, has for him. Amen. And because of that and the cross and all what it meant and all the redemption and all the blood that was shed, he, his salvation what kept him to be reminded of me being a slave to my creator and always having to be in a heavenly perspective in all of his situation. In the worst situation, he still glorified God and counted himself worthy to go through what he went through. My goodness. Oh my God. That's how we have to good. choose. Our our choices that we make can't be a choice of our earthly choice. It has to be a, a perspective from a spiritual way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's how Apostle Paul thought he thought from a a heavenly perspective Amen. and because we don't think on a heavenly perspective we are we are fearful we we are hurt we're That's angry right. we we can't he forgive said. we we go, you, you're going through a lot of unnecessary undue stress because of your lack of being empowered we're supposed to be continually being empowered by be um, being sanctified over and over again. The process of being sanctified and, and set apart is through our salvation that we should continue to get our renewal and our refresh. Go ahead, men of God, to the word of God. <laughs> I love that. I love it. That's awesome. <clears throat> this is Romans chapter 8, beginning at verse 35. Who shall ever separate us from Christ's love? Shall suffering and affliction mm. and tribulation or calamity and distress, or persecution, mm. or hunger, or destitution, mm. or peril, or sword. Even as it is written, for thy sake, we are put to death all the day long. We are regarded and counted as sheep for the slaughter. Mm. Yet amid all these things, we are more than conquerors. And gain a surpassing victory yeah. through him who loved us. For I am persuaded beyond doubt. Yes. 
am sure that neither death nor life mm. nor angels nor principalities nor things impending and threatening nor things to come mm -hmm. nor powers nor height yes. nor depth nor anything else in all creation mm -hmm. will be able to separate us from the love of God mm. which is in Christ Jesus Woo! our Lord oh my God now that's how you read the word right mm -hmm. there <laughs> see that's a heartfelt so when we pray that's how we supposed to pray a oh. heartfelt and with an mm. understanding so you read that scripture right there, you will have under. He said, nothing will cause me to perish. What could separate me from you? Nothing. No calamity. It says no persecution. And in the New King James, it says no famine, no nakedness, no sword. That sword means no war. Mm. Nothing. Nothing mm. on earth, in the earth, or under the earth. Nothing that can come upon it can separate my love from you. I've loved you with an everlasting love. Man, I have so much. I did not even get into what I had. Mm -hmm. I want to go. Who want to go? Who want to go? Somebody text. They want to keep going. Pass the Lord out. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Oh, all 47 <clears throat> say that. But anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to get in trouble. No, we're not. Oh, my goodness. That passage of scripture right there is so empowering, so encouraging. It's so awesome. It's such a reassurance yeah. of my salvation in that scripture. That is Romans 8, mm. 35 through 39. I just love that. All these things he said, yet we're more than conquerors. Oh, my goodness. I'm just, I'm just basking. How could you have fear? In the, in the word of God. I really, I really am. Uh, Apostle Paul, I, I said, I believe... Uh, the reason I feel most acquainted with Apostle Paul than anyone else uh, in the Holy Scripture is because of his way of thought, his process. Because when he starts off to say that, what's going on, Pastor? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> the moderator said, keep going. Yeah, well, no, no, no. no. <laughs> is that uh, he starts out posing a lot of time with a question. He says, uh, who could separate? Mm. He's not asking. He's telling you no one, nothing can separate. He, and then he carries us through his internal thought with God. And then what happens, you know, and this is just throughout his life, and then, or his thought process, then he comes out of, but still having a conversation with you, he comes out of the conversation with us, and then he has this revelation that's being revealed to him by God, and then at the very end of his statement conversation to us, then he gives us the revelation of what has been revealed to his spirit. So that you'll understand. So that in between Ooh. all of what he's saying is really at the beginning when he posed a question. Oh my goodness. I told you. What oh, can because goodness. what happened is that during his question, he hears a word from God, which is the spirit of truth, which then gives him a revelation of unveiling a taking off of what was hidden to the inner man. And now he clearly see and was made known that has been hidden. Is a great treasure that's seen, that's not seen. Now he makes it available to us. And that's my whole reason of thinking is that we don't allow Holy Spirit, when we start to talk, for him to, to teach and lead and guide us in our conversations with him. And this is what Apostle Paul does. This is why he said, who could separate? Uh. He let you know who could separate. He, he <laughs> let you know through me, his entire life, it's through everything that he that's so good he says throughout any scripture that you read is his entire relationship with god mm -hmm. i'm a bond servant mm -hmm. he said i'm i've been called to be a minister and the minister is a servant he's right. i've been called to to be a slave to god mm -hmm. i've been called to allow him to do his will through me and not my will through him mm -hmm. he said i've been called to die all the day long I've been called to die. Oh, My I've been called to die. Oh, see, y'all not ready. Y'all ain't not ready to die. He said, I've been called for this. Amen. I've been equipped for this. He said, but there has to be a revelation of your salvation because in your salvation is the infusing of the energy and the power and the authority to live the life of a Christian. Mm. It's in your salvation, man and woman My of God. My goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Teacher, 
That is so good. Jesus. That exegesis of that is oh. revelatory. We're at the end. We're, we're at the end. We're at the end. <laughs> we're at the so end. We were, we've been talking about fear. I don't know if I'm going to close with it uh, at this week. We may go back and review some more or bring some more revelation next week. Just stay tuned. But just know that in that scripture, and you're so right, the question that he poses already has Jesus. the revelation of it in there. Jesus. And he's telling you. I love it because he's like, hey, man, are you serious? Who can separate? Oh! So then, listen to what it says. As it says, shall suffering, oh. shall affliction, mm. shall tribulation, mm -hmm. shall calamity, yeah, yeah, shall yeah. distress. Listen, yeah. listen, he's talking to fear. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's talking to fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's directing it exactly to fear. Boldly. <laughs> he said, I, see, this is how revelation works. This is how it happened. You see the team? You see the team? He said, I stand in my power and my resurrection through Christ God, Jesus, God. and I can speak to fear. You got to oh wait till the God. end. You got to wait till the end. You can't do it. Because <laughs> at the end, that's where it is. Stand really, it's not the power. end, it's just the beginning. See, that's how he dropped that in there. He's speaking to fear. My God. Who? Oh, my God. What? He didn't list all the things. He called fear out. He called it out. Oh, it has Jesus. mastery over. It has mastery over calamity Ooh. or affliction. And he tells you the uh. same thing. Is there any afflicted among you? Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. call for the elders. See, he's mm. telling you right there. He mm. tells you right there what it is. Fear. Mm. Call for them. He said, pray. Uh oh, the prayer of faith. Yes, 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 yes. And your faith works by love. love. Oh, my God. It's just yes. unveiling. It's just an unveiling. Good God Almighty. The prayer of what has been made known and has manifest itself to me. See, that led into my other scripture. Jesus. That led into my other scripture, but I, she uh, won't let me go there. Jesus. I had a whole teaching on that. Oh, right my there. God. I don't know what she hit on. Y'all been playing with belief, though. You've been playing with belief. You have to tune in next week. It's what's been made known. Jesus. That's why I Ooh. pray. That's the prayer of faith. What's been made known? Stop. You go. Okay. Jesus. Okay. You go. Since you're gonna do that, you can't lead the people. They want revelation. Jesus. You can't leave them with that. You oh can't my leave. God. Them. You can't leave them with that. And you can't do that. That's not right. Sure, I can. The minister said that last night. You can't just lead people and and have them open without getting. <laughs> Pastor, <laughs> you stop, won't let me do stop it. Stop making your way to another do door. It. The doors are closed. I want to do it. The doors are closed. <laughs> I got to know. She didn't put me there. The house of God. The doors closed. <laughs> oh, my Have God. Have your light ready in your wick trim for next Sunday. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see you Tuesday in an intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer Tuesday. At 6.30. We also have Friday night. Bible study. That's right. Truth night. Truth night. Oh, but it's going to be the truth oh, of the word of God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So, we thank you. Yeah. Man. For joining in with Walker Ministries, where we believe in Jew and Gentile, Gentile one, one new man, man and, and the Yeshua. Messiah. And the Messiah, yes. Yeshua. Yeshua. <laughs> I am the Gentile. He's the Jew. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Maranatha. <laughs>